Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Ready? Good teacher. Yes. Today is Friday, and the body knows it. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Exactly. Yes, you're ready. All right. Let's begin then. Good evening, everyone. Today is February twenty fifth. This is class 24. We have our last class on Monday. And on Monday, we have uh, also Encuesta de Satisfacción, right? So that's going to be uh, the idea. All right. So the topic tonight is how to avoid double negative. Welcome to your English class. This is the general objective. The objective of the unit. And this is the class objective to learn how to avoid double negatives. Okay. In the agenda tonight, we have heavy traffic, heavy traffic, the dialogue, double negatives, intro, practice, and then table. So before we begin with this, let's see who is here and who isn't here. Patricia Lina. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Ada, no, Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Present teacher. Present, present. Some, I have, present problem. teacher. Okay, excellent. Anna Michelle Guevara. Present. Excellent, nice. Anna Michelle. Okay. I don't see. Let's see. Angel Jesus. Present, teacher. Excellent. Darwin and Dardo Ayala. Okay. Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Guadalupe de Carmen López. Here, teacher. Excellent. Nice. All right. Okay. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Lourdes. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Mayra Melanie Guevara. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez. Okay, Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Nice, very good. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present teacher, good evening. Excellent. <clears throat> Pamela Beatriz Posada. Good evening, present. Good evening, Rafael Ernesto González. Good evening, present. Good evening, my friend. Rosa Elena Salgado. Sandra Gladys. Elizabeth Hernández. Good evening, teacher. Nelson Sanchez, present. Okay. Present, nice. Jansi. Okay, excellent. Zulma Laura López. Present. Excellent. Flor de Maria Carvalho. Present. Nice, very good. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Susana Carolina Hernandez. Dani Anthony Sigüenza. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Alexis Fuentes. Hello. Hello. Who is this? Hola. You, my friend. Present. Present. All right. Okay. Jose Ignacio Franco. 
and Carla Ver Veronica Vasquez is going to be a listener on. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, I don't know if it was Ricardo or his brother, Danis. Who is present, Danis or Ricardo? Okay, let me see, Nelson is here. So, all right, let's begin then. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to begin by talking about this topic. What topic do you think we're going to be discussing? Heavy traffic. Uh, have you experienced this problem? Yes. 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 Always. <laughs> Okay, particularly if you live in Soyapango or in the vicinity of Soyapango, you know about this problem, okay? Uh, okay, yes. Yes, that's true. Okay, L let's see. What is heavy traffic? Uh, it is for accumulation of vehicle in, on the road. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. There is an accumulation of vehicles on the road. Uh -huh. that it the is movement of the cars is low. Aha, uh -huh, the flow of cars is very slow, yes. Okay. How, what time do you usually come across heavy traffic? Many times. All the time, right? But principally early in the morning? In the morning. Late in the evening. But like about between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. or 8 p.m. Yep. Uh -huh. And in the morning, between 5.30 in the morning, 5.30 in the morning and probably a, 8.30 or 9. 8.30. So those are the rush, rush hours. Uh -huh. How do you feel when you come into a traffic jam? How do you feel? Stressful. Stressful. Yeah. Stress. Really stressful. I what? feel bad. bad. Ah, you feel really bad, maybe angry too, or worried because you're going to be angry. <laughs> what can a mortal like us do about this? How can we change this situation? Is there something that we can do? <clears throat> maybe one... Uh, not a complete solution, but maybe partial is um, scheduled for beginning to the work, different for the for uh, for each company. Maybe have a different schedule. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. The only thing that is most of the people try to get to the their work almost at the same time. And that is, uh, some people start early at 6.30 in the morning, other people at 7.30, other people at eight o'clock, other people at 8.30, and there are some people at nine o'clock. So then the problem is that the people who en enter at seven or 6.30 in the morning, they think, I'm going to go early because if not, I'm going to be late. And the people who are a little, enter a little later think I'm going to go early because I don't want to be there late. And then all of them go to the same, to the same uh, street at the same time. 
Therefore, all of them get to work late. The ones that enter at 7.30, the ones that enter at eight, all of them. So, okay. Now. It's, it's very interesting teacher that in, in maybe 20, yeah, maybe 2021 uh -huh. during pandemic, yes, uh, right. a lot of workers we, we had uh, been in uh -huh. an office, but the traffic in my opinion is the same. Yes, I agree. It's something very, very peculiar, but yes, traffic is always horrible, even now in the pandemic. <laughs> so, yeah, I have had to drive in traffic because my car is automatic and I'm just driving with one leg and we advance very little very little, very little. The movement of stopping, uh, let's say the, the accelerator, the brakes, the accelerator, the brakes, then there is a moment that your leg is really tired. <laughs> you, don't want, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to move your leg anymore. So you say, no, I, it's, prefer, it's prefer, preferable to walk, right? At least you're stretching both legs, you're walking. But yeah, definitely it's terrible. It's really, really terrible. Okay, now then, uh, in what parts of the city is it common to find heavy traffic? Or in what cities? In our country? right? Boulevard Universito is crowded. Boulevard Monseñor Romero, too. Yes, which, which of all of them? Which, which Monseñor Romero? The seventh or? The specific time. The, the specific no, time. The seventh is the one that passes in front of social security or a. The other one that is new, the, the one that had the name of a bad man, that's why they decided to change it. Uh, the one that, that is, uh, let me see, the one that passes by Super Selectos uh, in the street that, let me see, what's the name of this? I forget. No, I don't remember. The, the one that goes, that appears by the traffic of the Beethoven. What's the name of that street? Because there is another one that goes all- 75 Avenue. Uh -huh, all, the all the way that appears by Luceiros, Luceiros traffic. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. So that one, Diego de Holguin. Uh -huh. Diego de Holguín, or that is one, one Monseñor yeah. Romero Street. Another Monseñor Romero Street is Seventh Avenue, the one that passes in front of uh, Seguro Social and goes all the way. Uh, they passes behind Metro Sur and continues all the way up all across. Uh, Bernal. In the street, in the front Santa Tecla to San Salvador. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, Panamericana. Uh, exactly. Anyway. Yes. Juan Pablo. Yes, definitely. Sorry, but I hope you know what uh, the traffic on the Boulevard del Ejército, so it's heavy. Heavy, heavy. Yeah. All day. All day. Every day. All day. Every, Every day. day. Every day. No need, no need time. 
Our uh, time is heavy. Only Sunday's morning. Sunday. Yeah, at the Sunday. Sunday. At, at the early early morning. <laughs> yes, I have driven there like about eight o'clock in the morning, and it's been empty. Well, not empty, but it's been or maybe like 5 p.m. Okay, and uh, it's been okay. But I haven't gone past, uh, let's say there is a traffic circle, traffic circle, and there is an overpass. And this street goes to, let me see, I forget the name of the, of the neighborhood. Okay, so, but anyhow, Soyapango, yes has heavy traffic. What happens when you get uh, to work late? Uh, does your boss understand, uh, understand you why you're late? Or does your boss get angry because you are late? Your boss, uh, no problem. <laughs> oh, with okay, your- no problem. Ah, okay. Leather, leather, my, my, my work. Uh -huh. Yeah, because some bosses get angry when you are late. Yeah. Yes. Sometimes. But, but, but I not all day. Really. Uh -huh. Really. Yeah. Really. Okay. Sometimes it is your fault. You leave. Yes. Yes. It's important. But uh, what happens if you leave home early? There is an accident or simply for whatever reason, they decided to close one lane and all of the cars are moving only on one lane. So they are very slowly moving. So it's, yeah. not, it's not your fault, but in the end, it's your problem. <laughs> in the end, it's your problem. Yeah. Exactly. But uh, blessed the, the bosses that understand, right? Blessed the bosses who understand, but not all of the bosses understand. Uh -huh. And that is unfortunate. All right, my dear Nitos, let's move on. This one, imagine that this one, this picture is from Thailand. It's, this is Bangkok, Bangkok, Thailand. This picture, well, is another, this is another story. <laughs> okay, let me see. Heavy traffic. Okay. Studying, some people think that traffic is a problem of only on of small countries like El Salvador. But this is a, a bit, uh, let's say a study about UK, the United Kingdom, okay, and the traffic that they have. People think, ah, oh, it's an island. They are a first power country. Therefore, they have no problem. <laughs> Let's see. Large roads and motorized traffic have several, several negative impacts on the population in surrounding areas. However, the range, nature, and size of these impacts depend on the perceptions of the individuals affected. Current frameworks for traffic impact assessment, such as the UK, UK's IES guidelines, okay, published in 1993, and WebTag UK D DFT, and then 2014 and A and B, rely on quantitative indicators of physical impacts and assess other impacts during qualitative information that is largely based on the judgment of the assessor. They are assessing how people feel for because they are late, okay? And what impact it has emotionally, etc. Those frameworks also do not consider the priorities of local communities regarding the level of the different impacts and possibly no possible mitigation measures. At a broader level, frameworks to assess transport policies, plans, and programs tend to focus on key environmental issues, while the assessment of social impacts is in many cases indirect 
qualitative or simply reflected in the appraisal or planning assumptions. This is by Fisher, 1999. Now, this study looks at impacts of road traffic associated with the construction of a nuclear power station in a rural area in the east of Italy. It is anticipated that the 10 year construction project will increase traffic levels along the seven kilometer designated route, which links the A12, a major road in the region with London and the site entrance using the B1122, that is a minor road. The construction route would need to accommodate heavy goods vehicle, delivering materials abnormal, loads, coaches, transporting workers to the site and private vehicles used by workers and visitors. The route crosses three villages, Yoxford, Middletown, Middletown and uh, Theverton, with a population of 1,348. This means traffic will be heavy during uh, uh, that time, affecting a lot of people. Just imagine places like New York, Los Angeles, Soyapango and other cities with important traffic these places are terribly affected if there is a minor accident. You could imagine the impact if they start building a new road or repairing existing ones. That would be terrible chaos and despair. Okay, so chaos means disorder and despair means affliction. <laughs> okay, so this is the reading. Okay. <clears throat> See, there's some words that we need to pay attention to. Motorized traffic, negative impacts, surrounding areas, nature and size, the range, nature and size of these impacts, perceptions, individuals affected, current framework for traffic impact assessment, okay, guidelines, rely on quantity indicators of physical impacts, assess other impacts using qualitative information, largely based on the judgment of the assessor, frameworks which do not consider the priorities of local communities regarding the level of the different impacts and possible mitigation measures. Broader level frameworks to assess transport policies, plans and programs, and to focus on key environmental issues, while the assessment of social impacts is in many cases indirect, qualitative, or simply reflected in the appraisal or planning assumptions. Okay. This study looks at impacts of road traffic associated with the construction of nuclear power station in a rural area in the east of England. Imagine over here, my friends, we're going to read about what's going to happen to this neighborhood that only has 1,348 people that they travel uh, uh, taking uh, B11 and 22. It's going to be, the construction is going to take 10 years. So during 10 years, they're going to be suffering heavy traffic or seven kilometers of this route. So, but imagine Soyapango, that every day people have to travel somewhere like 10, 10 to 12 kilometers, slowing, slowly, slowly, slowly. So it's desperating, right? It's really desperating. Okay, we're going to have, uh, we're going to go to the groups and we're going to practice reading this. Chaos and despair, terrible chaos, despair. Okay. So these are pages 10 and 11. Right now we're 23 people. So we're going to have five groups. The groups 
at opening. Proceed. Teacher, you heard the activation, the yes. share. You have this. permission. Uh -huh, you have permission now. Okay. Let me see. Yeah. Heavy traffic. Uh, well, uh, I'm going to read the first slide. Lurch, Ross, and heavy traffic. Large roads and motorized traffic. Oh my God, that dogs. Large, large roads and motorized traffic have several negative impacts on the population in surrounding areas. However, the range, nature, and size of these impacts depend on the perception of the individuals affected. Current frameworks for, for traffic impact assessment, such as the UK's, I, oh my God, the I can <laughs> I E A oh my god guidelines um I E A oh my god A E I oh my god 1993 <laughs> I, 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 oh my god <laughs> 1993 and web tag UK DFT 2000 2014A, 2014B, rely on quantitative indicators of physical impacts and assess other impacts using qualitative information that is largely based on the judgment of the assessor. Those frameworks also do not consider the priorities of local communities regarding the level of the different impacts and possible mitigation measures. At a broader level, frameworks to assess transport police policies, plans, and programs tend to focus on key environmental issues while the assessment of social impacts is in many cases indirect, qualitative, or simply reflected in the appraisal or planning assumptions. Fisher, 1999, 2006. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Next. Next. Um. Okay. Read you, Angela. Okay. This study looks at impacts of road traffic associated with the constru construction of a nuclear power station in a rural area. Así es, area in the east of England. It is anticipated that the 10 years construction some projects will increase traffic levels along the seven kilometers designated road, which line the uh, A11, a major road linking the re region with London, and the side strengthen using the B. Como es 11, y le ven acabo de decir. Say, I just say 11, 8, 11, uh, 12. 12, 12, <laughs> uh, 22, a minor road, the constructor, construction road will need to accommodate, accommodate heavy goods, vehicles, uh, Ay, ¿cómo es la H en inglés? Delivering material at normal lower cost transporting workers to the site and provide vehicle used by workers and visitors the road crosses three by line by a balance village 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 and programs tends to focus on key environmental issues while the assessment of social impact is in many cases indirect quality qualitative or simply reflected in the uh, of planning as some sí, los chuchitos quien mor is training Sorry, I I want to read the first screen. Mm -hmm. Please up the page. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks. Heavy traffic, large large roads, and motorized traffic have several negative impacts on the population in surrounding areas. Perdón, 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 perdón. However, the range, nature, and size of this impact depend on the perception of the individual affected. Current framework for traffic impact assessment such as the UK is YEA guideline, AEA, sorry, 1993, and WebTAC UKDFT 2048, 2040V, rely on quantity quantitative indicator of physical impact and access other impact using qualitative information that is largely based on the judgment of the assessor. Those framework also do not consider the priority 
of local community regarding the level of the different impact in possible mitigation measure. At a broader level, framework to access transport policies, plans and programs tend to focus on key environmental issues, while the assessment of social impact in many cases indirect, qualitative or simple reflected in the appraisal or planning assumption. Feature 1999-26. Okay. Sandra, you want to read? Yeah. Sandra? Okay. This study looks at impact to road traffic associ associated with a construction of a nuclear power station in a rural area in the east of England. It is anticipated that the 10 year construction project will increase traffic levels along the seven kilometers. Designated route. The different impact and possible migration measure. Right. Jansi. Jansi. Now, are the broader civil frameworks to assess? Transport police, police plans and program them to focus on key environment, environmental uses. Why the assessment of social impact is in the many cases indirect, quality or simple reflects in the appraisal or planning assumption. Fishing nine ninety nine. No. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Está Yancy, no, no. No, ya no, no le escuché. Okay. Perdón, acabo, me sacó de la sesión y acabo de entrar, no sé por dónde va. A comenzar la siguiente página. This ah, okay. is study look is for and visitor those three villages for Jobsford, Middleton, and Silverton, with a total population of one thousand thirty forty eight. This means traffic will be heavy during that time, affecting a lot of, of people. Yes, imagine places like New York, Los Angeles, Sayapango, and other cities with important traffic. These places are terrible affect if there is a major accident. You could imagine the impact of if they start building a new road or repairing existing ones that would be terrible chaos and despair. Ah, sí, dígame. El micrófono abierto. A you could imagine the impact this day start uh, burning a never wrong or repairing exit one is I that for the terrible sounds and the sparrings. Finish. Next, um, you start again, Angela. Okay. A tra heavy tra traffic, large rats and 
motorized motorized traffic have several motorized motorized yeah. uh, traffic have several of local community re regarding the level of the different impact and possible mitigation mitigation measures measures a uh, uh, broader level from the words to access transport police plans and programs tend to focus on k on k on k environment environmental issues while the assessment of the social impacts is in many cases indirect quality quality on simple reflected in the appraisal or planning assumptions future Nineteen. I don't remember. See, nineteen. 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 Yeah, 19. no problem. I, I want, I, I want to read the second screen, please. Thanks. The areas, the range, nature. Inside of these impacts depend on the perce perception of the individuals affected. Okay, next. Next. Uh, okay, okay. Current. Your tour. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay, my friends, what do you think are the causes, the principal causes for heavy traffic? Why do we have heavy traffic uh, all the time? Let's say maybe from Soyapango or from uh, Santa Tecla, from Merliot, from different places. Why do we have? Uh -huh. Why do we have? Traffic, heavy traffic. Because an accident or sometimes a, a repairing the street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are repairing the street or there is an accident. What else? During one time, because people didn't take the bus. The so there were a lot of cars. But there are times that there isn't nothing at the street and the traffic is very heavy. I think that is the overpopulation in El Salvador. Yes. <laughs> many yes, people, many people have, have one or two cars. Yeah. yeah. Right. I think that is a necessity. Yes. Because the security, I think. Mm -hmm. But it's it's the same that uh, the motorcycles. Oh my God, there are a lot of motorcycles nowadays. But you know, motorcycles move faster through traffic. But uh, yes. but they are a danger for for us because sometimes they don't respect uh, their their limits and they enter your limit. And when you are prudent, teacher. 
Yes. Also between days, because sometimes I see that they are so near. And yes, mm -hmm. it can be a problem. Um, yes. There is a family here in my neighborhood that there are five people, mom, dad, three kids, two boys, one girl. Each, Each one have a car. Them has a car. There are five. Oh my God. Oh my God. They have a garage, so they, there is one car in the garage, four cars outside. Imagine, it's a problem. It's a problem. You mentioned the cars in the strip. Yeah, the neighbor, the neighbor okay, wants to park uh, his car because he has two cars, one car in front and one car inside. There is no parking. There is no parking in the street. And sometimes he finds the cars in his parking space. So that is a problem. And imagine on the road, so many cars at the same time. Yeah. So, and everybody wanting to get to the place at the same time. So there is a big problem. Okay. So then the, uh, the reason can be overpopulation, too many people and too many. Uh, there can be an accident, whether a car hits a motorcycle or whether a bus hits another car or hits a car or whatever, or a car breaks down in the middle of the road because the car is old, okay? And then they cannot move it and all of the other cars are trying to pass. It's really narrow, but they can move. That's another. Yes, in the other, we don't respect the the rules of doing the, the road. It's, that's true. Uh -huh. Some people are changing lanes. They move from one to the other lane as they are advancing. They don't move only one lane. So they come a lot back because of that. On vacation, also on the Holy Week, all the traffic go to the beach and the city is empty. <laughs> but yeah. you know, if you go to any neighborhood, let's say, sometimes you cannot enter because the streets have oh, yes. signs that they make on the streets. Yes. So they tell you, sorry, the street is closed. Yes. You need to go to that house. I'm sorry, I have to look for another, another way. <laughs> and it's the only way. So no, traffic is traffic is a problem. A lot of people get angry. Yeah. In general, teacher, um, our street, mm -hmm. uh, there are very small. Very narrow, narrow street. Narrow, narrow, yeah. Very narrow. In, in the general, the, the structure of the plan of the city. Yes. And I don't understand how put the facade, uh, how do you say, how do you say the, the W? Overpasses. Overpasses, mm -hmm. but in the other side, a lot of cars. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Mm -hmm. You know? Circles, traffic circles shouldn't exist. Shouldn't exist because people try to enter the circles and nobody lets them. Nobody lets them. So when you get to the traffic circle, the first one that the one that is already in the circle has the right to continue moving. The guy has to wait, but sometimes the car is already here and the other enters. So the poor guy in the circle almost hits the other one. So that is really, really a big problem. Okay, we're going to read a dialogue. Our passenger, passenger one and passenger two are talking on the bus. They are on the bus and they are talking about the mortality of the car. Okay, let's see. Wow, traffic is really heavy again. Yesterday, a car had broken down 
and we had to wait for hours before it was actually removed from the road. I got to work at 9.30, oh, sorry, 9.30 a.m., no p.m. <laughs> at, at, at night, so at 9.30 a.m., my boss was furious. I tried to explain the situation, but he simply ignored me. Where do these people live that can't show any empathy at all? I was really upset all day. Yes, it's true. Lucky for me, someone had given me a ride yesterday, but I heard about the incident. People were really worried and angry, which made dri drivers nervous and anxious after all either. But the authorities who would have to find a solution seem not to care about the situation we're living. Yeah, and the problem is that we live at home or we leave home at 5 a.m. to get to work on time. But these things happen, nothing of this saves us. I hope one day they'll do something about it. I hope so too, because enough is enough. Okay, again, wow, traffic is really heavy again. The car had broken down and we had to wait four hours before it was actually from the road. I had to work at 9.30 a.m. My boss was furious. I tried to explain the situation, but he ignored me. Where do these people live that can't show any empathy at all? I was really upset all day. True. Lucky for me, someone had given a ride, had given a ride yesterday. But I heard the incident. People were really worried and angry, which made drivers nervous and anxious. After all, it's not their fault either. True. But the authorities who would have to find a solution to care about the present situation we are living. Yeah, and the problem is that we leave home at 5 a.m. We work on time, but when these things happen, nothing of this saves us. I hope one day they'll do something about it. I hope so too, because enough is enough. Okay, so this is the conversation you're going to be practicing in again, let's go to the let's go to the group and continue. Okay. The groups are opening. Uh, you start, Pam. Me or you? You, no problem. Okay. Well, traffic is really heavy again. Yesterday, a car had broke down and we had to wait for hours before it was actually removed, then, removed from the road. I go to work at 9, 9.30 a.m. My boss was furious. I tried to explain that the situation, but he sometimes ignored me. Where do, where do these people live that can show any empathy at all? I, I was really upset all day. Yes, it's true. Looking for me, someone had given a right yesterday, but I heard about the accident. People were really worried, worrying and angry. 
which may drive nervous and anxious. After arm, it's not their fault either. True, but the authorities who could have to find a solution seems not to care about at about the, the present situation we're living. Yeah. And the problem is that we live home at a 5 a.m. to get to get to work on time. But when this this happened, nothing on this side of us. I hope one I hope on one day that we will do something about it. I hope to do because and now is and now. Okay. The okay. chain. Ada Patricia, Jose Carlos. Nice. Okay. Justo. El comienzo. Ofelia. Sí, okay. I, I home traffic is ready. Harry, uh, yesterday, a car has broken, broken. I don't think we have to hurt a for Horus, the four is was actually removing for the road. He goes to four as nine, nine, ten, ten, I mean, both was furious. 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 My, my boss. Uh, I ready to explain the situation. Situation. I bad has situation. 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 I I no more. I me. I when does I there is people. I live in that cannot choose any empathy as all I was reading who said all day. Um, Lourdes, Senorita Lourdes. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. Um, P2. 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 Yes, it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. P1. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Traffic is really heavy again. <clears throat> Yesterday, a car had broken down and we had to wait for hours before it was you actually removed from the road. I go to work at the 9.30 p.m. My boss was furious. I tried to explain the situation, but he simply ignored me. Where the, where the does people live that can show any empathy at all? I was really upset all, all day. Yes, it's true. Lucky for me, someone has given a right yesterday, but I hear about the incident. People were really worried and angry, which made drivers nervous and anxious. After all, this is not their fault, either. True, but the authority who will have to find a solution seem not to hear at about the prison situation we are living. Yeah, when the, when the problem is that we live home at 5.00 a.m. to get to work on time. But when these things happen, nothing is this safe. safe. I hope. <clears throat> One day they'll do something about it. I hope so too, because enough is enough. 
sorry, in parentheses, in parentheses. If I leave my house at 5 a.m., I take 20 minutes to get to my company. But if I leave at the 6 a.m., it take an hour and there it only seven kilometers away. Is 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 near near it's near but but if I live with the five EM my time my time is twelve or fifteen minutes but if I live in at six EM to need a one hour maybe <laughs> I I need two two hours go to work for the, for the morning in the night two two hours help us at the in afternoon my case, at, at the afternoon is same because the the traffic more time in the afternoon more time. It's changed the route. <laughs> it's hard from Sarisa to my, my home. Change In my case, I need an address. After all, it is not their fault. It is true. But the authorities who could have to find a solution seem not to care. At about the present situation we are living. Yeah, and the problem is that we live home at 5 p.m. 5 a.m. to get to work on time. But when this this happen, nothing of this save us. I hope one day they don't something about it. I hope. So too, because enough is enough. Excellent. Good job. Hi, Good Hi Danis. Good Hi. evening. Good evening. Lecture? Ah, come back. Ah, sorry, it's too late. Okay, now let's see who is here and who isn't here. Ada Patricia Linares. Here, teacher. Excellent, nice. Stephanie, Stephanie Martin. Present. Excellent, nice. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present, teacher. Nice, very good. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Nice, very good. Okay, yes, now I can see you. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria, Angelita. Present teacher, present, present, present. Okay. Darwin <laughs> Edgardo Ayala. Darwin didn't come today, right? So, Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Excellent, nice. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta. Present. Excellent, nice. Mayra Melanie Guevara. Present. Excellent, nice. 
Nelson Edgardo Sanchez. Present teacher. Nice. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Excellent, nice. Osmin Baires. Present teacher. Okay, nice, very good. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Present. Excellent. Rafael Ernesto González. Present. Nice, very good. Rosa Elena Salgado. Present. Nice, very good. Sandra Gladys Méndez. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Jancy Lisbeth Hernández. Present. Excellent, very good. Zulma Rosaura López. Present. Nice, very good. Now, Flor de Maria Carvalho. Present. Excellent. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Susana Carolina Hernández. Dani Anthony Sigüenza. Dani Sadalberto Fuentes. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Ricardo Hello. Fuentes. Present teacher, present. Nice, very good. Eduardo Ernesto right. Fuentes. Jose Ignacio Franco. Here, teacher, I'm happy in my house. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Nice. Carla Verónica Vázquez. Present. Excellent. Nice, my friends. Now let's continue. We have. What are what are the people in the conversation discussing? Traffic. traffic, right? Traffic. Have you ever heard people on the bus talking about traffic? Yes, right. People commonly talk about the traffic. What happened the day before? Do you remember what happened the day before in the conversation? A car had broken off. Yes, a car had broken down. And it took hours for them to remove it from the street. Okay. What did the, the boss, the person's boss do? I love. Uh -huh. He ignored him, right? When he tried to explain, he got angry. Okay. He wasn't empathy. He didn't show empathy. He didn't, he didn't show, show empathy. Okay. It's true. How did the person feel about it all day? Angry all day. Upset. Upset. Upset all day. Have you ever been late because of traffic? Yes. Yes. Frequently. <laughs> How did your boss react? Our serious. Serious. <laughs> serious. Okay. The other. Okay. Very. Sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. I am the boss. In. Uh -huh. In in our group. Yes. Our company, but. My hour to to arrive at the company is six or maybe six thirty a.m. Mm -hmm. But the normal the hour the hour normal is seven thirty a.m. Yeah. Okay, so you have to begin work at seven thirty, but you usually show up one hour before. Okay, excellent. I have it. I have been. Uh, wake up early, more early. You had to wake up early. But, yes, yeah. yes, but go to, yeah. to four a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Get to work early at 4 a.m. Yes. Get, yes. How do you feel when your boss doesn't understand you? Bad. 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 Mm -hmm. Bad. Bad. <laughs> Incomod. <laughs> I remember one day I um, I had a class at uh, seven seven in the morning, and I arrived at seven fifteen. My boss was very angry, and 
I remember that um, uh, my students were waiting and they were talking about the immortality of the crab. But then when I entered and apologized for being late and I explained the situations, they all laughed and they said, hey, teacher, this is why we are late sometimes. <laughs> yeah. But, in my, in my case, uh, uh, I have a I have a, a pay the taxi. Ah, uh, pay taxi. You know that was the last day that I took the bus. After that, I walked from my house. I went yes. to work walking, and I always got there early. I always got there early because I went walking because I live near my job, so I could go walking. But um, I don't drive, I didn't drive to my work then. Okay, let's see, let's continue my friends. We move into introduction to double negatives. But before this, okay, let us discuss these questions. What's the best way to get customers attention towards your product? Okay. What do you think is the best way to get customers to pay attention to your product? When the customer quality, get quality products mm -hmm. or get good satisfaction, satisfaction with I, the product of the service. Yes. If they are satisfied good with service. product, if they, the product has good quality, good quality. Yes, quality. A quantity too. Exactly. Uh, so uh, sometimes people talk about that. For example, I love horchata. I'm an horchata lover. And uh, one day I was coming out of the gym because I loved going to the gym. So uh, I went to the gym and uh, <laughs> some friends were drinking horchata. And they were talking about the horchata and they said, wow, this is the best horchata I have ever drunk. And I said, really, is that so? Yes, where did you buy it? And they showed me, they didn't tell me, they went and showed me that lady sells this horchata. And I said, okay. And I went and I bought, okay. I bought one refreshment. It cost 25 cents. 25 cents of Cologne at that time. So, woo, many years ago, okay? A couple of hundreds of years ago. So then I drank the horchata and it was the best horchata that I had ever tasted. From that moment, I began drinking horchata every day. Every day I bought the lady some horchata. Why? Because what called my attention were the comments that the people were making about how good the horchata was. And it was true. The horchata was to be famous. A, yes, I haven't famous. horchata like that anymore. The lady was near El Telegrafo. Near El Telegrafo? <laughs> you know El Telegrafo, no? No, right? Here in San Salvador near one, uh, uh, let me see, the park is, I forget the name of the park, but there is near the telegraph. Ula Ula. Ula Ula, yes, Ula Ula. They had the huge, ah, Ula Ula. The yes. huge, mm -hmm, huge containers, huge huacales de aluminum, right? With big blocks of ice and everything. Ah, yes. Very delicious. The mercado? I know. Yes. Uh -huh. they, Central, Mercas, Mercas. <laughs> uh -huh, it's true. Or in San Miguelito also. Uh, yes, yes. Very good. Uh, fruit. Or, or chata and fruit. Uh -huh, fruit too. Yes, it's true. Okay. So how would you define ineffective and effective ways to increase awareness? Do you think that Changing the packages of the co uh, the colors of the packages is an effective or an ineffective way 
Is it effective or ineffective? Only changing the, the, the appearance of the program, the, but not increasing the quality. Do you think that that is effective? It's not enough, not only enough. the change the appearance. Uh -huh. Only the appearance is not enough, it has to be no. some change in quality, right? Okay, what other things are inefficient, are ineffective? What are the things that companies do are ineffective? Changing the name, changing the colors. If the quality is bad, we don't buy them. Or even lower in the price or sometimes they put a product together. Buy this milk and we will give you a ruler <laughs> or a sharpener. And you say, nah, thanks, but no thanks. Those things are ineffective, right? The only things that are effective are improve the quality, improve the quality, and what else? Maybe lower the price, and improve the quality, then that is effective, okay? What brands can you remember of the following products? Coffee, what brands? What brands uh, do you remember about coffee? Ready, coffee, ready. Cafe Listo. Co <laughs> Cafe Listo, what else? Deco. Sorry? Yeah. Deco. Uh, Mel's Deco. Nescafe. No, we ah. coffee right now. Coffee. Ah, Cafe listo. Musum. Listo. Cafe. 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 Masada. Masada oro. Mascada oro. Mas. What's, what's the name? Masada. Masada oro. Masada. Yeah. What's oro? Milk. Milk. Yeah, Cinco no, molinos. With coffee, yeah. right? No, with, with coffee. No, we are <laughs> coffee. <laughs> coffee rico. Rico. Coffee majada. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did it ring? <laughs> Did it ring? Okay. Café. Yes. Ah, okay. It's, an, it's another one. Okay. Café. Yes. Milk. What milk do you remember? Formos. Sorry? Formos. Formos? Oh, yes. Formos. Anchor. Nido. Delisoya. Sorry, Delisoya. Lactomi. Coca-Cola. De Tres Pinitos. Yes. Milk. Yes. Milk. Aha. Uh -huh. What else? What other milk? Well, those are basically, right? What about soda? Lira. Coca-Cola. Milk. 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 Lira. No, teacher. In, yeah. in, in my time to exist the era and okay. the, the cinco molinos era on lira yes era 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 26 era 26 era 26 bucks very era 26 yes australia australia right that was another one Chal. yes Uh -huh. Uh -huh, it's true. So about soda, we say Pepsi, Coca-Cola. What else? Fanta. Fanta. Fanta from Tropical. Uva Tropical. Uva Tropical. Uva Tropical. Cola Champán. Cola Champán. Champán, el sabor del Salvador. Yes. <laughs> Uh -huh. Orange Crush, Orange Crush is Orange mm -hmm. Crush, but Orange Crush doesn't exist and it was so delicious. That was delicious, definitely Orange Crush. Okay, how about beans? What do you have for about beans? San Francisco. San Francisco. San Francisco. San Francisco. Oh, yes. The, um, Sangre de Toro, no. What's your name? Sangre de Toro, something like that. Is San Pedro. San Pedro. San Pedro too, okay. So, La chula. sorry. The seda. The seda. The seda. The seda. The seda. It has some, <laughs> some uh, 
of cards uh, in the envelope. Okay, yes. What about rice? What are the brands of rice? San Francisco. San Francisco. As de Oro, San Francisco, Tres Coronas. What else? Mr. Rice. <laughs> ah, yes, Mr. Rice. Okay. So what about toothpaste? Trasegado. Ah, in the other one, trasegado at the market, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember a teacher, the toothpaste, the signal. Oh, yes. Signal. Colgate. Signal dos. Only Colgate, teacher. Colgate, Colgate. Uh -huh. Colgate. Signal dos. Eh, close up. Close. Close up is dead. Is dead. Close up is dead, right? Okay. So, what about sugar? Sugar. Cañal. El 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 cañal. Yes. Ah. Sobre el cañal. Sobre el cañal, okay. Creo que hay otro, pero sobre el cañal. So, el cañal. Yes, sugar, not many. Dishwashing detergent. Acción. Okay, yeah. Acción. Acción. Lemon. Cedex. Cedex. Cedex, right? Fab. <laughs> Okay. Ah, okay. Yes, okay, too. Uh -huh. What about soups? Soup? Maggie? Maggie? Maggie. 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 It's very good too. For children, one, two, three, four. Two, three. Ah, okay. One, two, three. Yes. Sopa de leche. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about juice? Juice. I, I don't remember, teacher. Umex. Umex. Um, uh, 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 Tura. Tucal. Uh, Sí, Ajá, Natura. Del Valle. Del Valle. What yeah. is the one? Kern. Kern. What? You remember? Kern. Kern, Natura. Ah, Kern. Ah, Kern. Yes. Ajá. Yes. Kern yes. tomato es juice, juice tomato. Yes. No, Kern. There are so the yeah. fruit, fruits. Yes. No, no. Only yes, pear, pear, apple, pineapple, pear, apple, pineapple, and what's the other flavor? Peach, peaches. Peach, yes. Peach, peaches. Uh, it's true. Okay. Yes, uh, Sorry, teacher, but the, the, uh, at the first time, the Joyce is coming at the middle, middle border. Ah, yes, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. The bottle is like this, and the, the, the mother the is plastic. A little, the bottle like this, and the, con, the content is this. It's true. Yes. Okay, what about oatmeal? What do you remember about oatmeal? Oatmeal. Okay. What oatmeal? Oatmeal. Avena. Avena. Oatmeal. Quaker. Quaker. Mm. Quaker, right? Quaker. 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 Zuli. Zuli. <laughs> Dani. 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 Inselecto. Inselecto. By selecto. Dani by selecto. I think selecto. That's another one. That's new. Yes. Mark. What about boxes? Brand new. Brand new. What? Okay. What about boxes? Brand new. Matches? Matches. Um, Mat matches? El. Gato negro. Oh my God. El gato negro, yes. El gato negro. Fogata. 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 Fogata.
Oh my God, only Gato Negro remember. <laughs> Fogata, I remember Fogata. Fogata. I remember Fogata. the name of uh, matches, Fogata. Fogata. Yeah, I have my... my. <laughs> what about TVs? Television sets? Panasonic. 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 LG. LG Gold LG. Star. Oh my God. <laughs> Gold Star. Master I Tech. have one. <laughs> Master, Master Tech. Tech. Master TVC. Tech. Yes. LCA. Uh -huh. L LCA. Okay. Yes. LCA. Okay. Very good. High Tech. Oh my God. High Tech. <laughs> High tech. TLC. Philly. TLC. National Panasonic. Pa Panasonic. Okay. Yes. How about cars? What brands do you remember of cars? Mm. Toyota, Nissan, Mitsubishi, Honda, Nissan, Nissan, BMW, Audi, Mercedes-Benz, Honda, uh -huh. yes. Prado, Prado, Toyota, and Audi, popular. Toyota. Ah, yes. The most popular and expensive, the, the, the yes. Mustang. Mustang, yeah. How about bit. motorcycles? Oh my God. Honda. Honda. Yamaha. Ishi, Yamaha. Ducati. Um, and there are new brands that I don't know. The Harley Davidson is brand. Harley yeah. Davidson. Yeah, yeah, Harley Davidson. That is. The best. I'm sorry for my Northern. <laughs> <laughs> today, today, how are too much? Brand, too much brand, new brand. There are a lot of new brands. The, the Indian, the Indian brand. Pajaritos brand. Pajaritos brand. <laughs> the, yeah. the Indian brand. For example, I have a freedom. I don't know. Oh my ah, God. Freedom. Hey, freedom. <laughs> Ex and, do you have a motorcycle? Yeah. Do you have a motorcycle, Don Osmin? Uh, Suzuki. Suzuki. Yes, yeah, Suzuki, really. Oh, nice. Suzuki. They are very and good. Honda. Honda. Honda is one of the most famous. Okay. Honda, yes. Honda is Japanese. It's the good. Japanese. Yamaha. 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 Yes, Japanese. Yamaha. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. Now the conversation. Let's get to the conversation. We have, uh, hi, Mandy, what's going on? I'm trying to set up an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Mandy? To start, you could stop the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fixed the spelling mistake in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I, I've noticed, I never noticed nothing about the spelling mistake when I made, when I made it. And you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything. I think you'd better hire a consultant, man. They will help you with the business. You really think it's necessary? Your advice should suffice. Okay. Say like this. Hi, Mandy. What's going on? I'm trying to set up an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything? You say, I don't know anything. No, I don't know nothing. I don't know anything, man. To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at least five times last week and fixed a spelling mistake in your slogan. Designing happiness, happiness with a Y, no, happiness with an I. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about the, that spelling mistake when I made it, but you know, it makes it look original. You mean 
you never notice anything. I think you'd better hire a consultant man. They will help you with the business. You really think it's necessary? Your advice should suffice, okay? So this is the conversation. And after this one, we're going to get to study the other things. So you're going to practice it. So I'm going to give you um, five minutes for you to practice. Only five minutes should suffice. Groups are opening. You're going to practice only the conversation. There are no questions. You men, you don't know anything. Mandy, to start your core stock changing in the logo in, for, in your business. I noticed, I noticed you change in the last five times last week and fix the spirit mistake in your slogan. Designing happiness, that's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made I made it, but you know it's made it look original. You know, you never face you anything. I think you the better hire I consult Mandy. They will help you with the business. Oh really see oh really think, think it is necessary your advance to 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 fight. To, to fight. Okay, the chain, Pame. Okay, Pame, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, who started you? Uh, if you want you. Okay. Uh, Hi, Mandy. What's going on? Uh, I'm trying to step up on an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Mandy? To study, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed, you changed it at least five times last week and fixed the spelling mistake in your slogan. Designing happiness, that's not correct. I never noticed, noticed, noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it. But you know, I make it look original. You mean you never notice it? The low or the chain okay. is notices that you change is an lex fair teaming I last week and fix the screen mis mistaking in you envelope destiny. Happiness, I was not correct. I never know, know anything, nothing about that spending mistake when I made it, but you know it make it, it look original. I do mean it, I do never know. Sandra? Yes. Hi. Can you share the screen? No, no, yo estoy en el WhatsApp. Usted empiece a leer y yo le contesto. <laughs> yo no puedo compartir porque como estoy en el teléfono, por eso le dije, mejor me voy a WhatsApp y lo leo. Oh, ok. I, yo puedo. Design. Design. Excuse me, the sign happiness that's not correct. 
I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it. But you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything? I think you better there, uh, here a council, Mandy. They will help you with that business. You really think it's necessary? Your advice should suffice. Okay. okay. Do you want to repeat? Uh, Danny say, yeah. Yancy. Danny yes. is, is Mandy and Yancy Teddy. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Mandy. What's going down? I am trying to set up an only business, sitting on my devices, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean to know no? You don't know anything, Mandy. To start, you will stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it a late fine time last week. You fixed this chill mistake in your slogan. Designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about a spelling mistake when I made it. Well, you know, it make it look original. You mean? You never notice anything. I think you better hear a consultant man of consultant maybe. They will help you with the business. You really being it is necessary. Your advice should suffice. suffice. Thank you, Yancy. Again, Sammy. Hey, Danny. I am yeah. Teddy. Hey, Mandy. Hi, Mandy. What's going on? I am trying to set up I'm going a business selling and make juices. But I don't, I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Mandy? To start your coach, stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changing in the at least five times last week and fix the spelling mistake in your slogan. Designing happiness, that's not correct. I never noticed nothing about a spelling mistake when I made it, but I don't know it's made, it look original. You mean you never notice anything? I think you'd better hire a consultant, Mandy. They will help with you with the business. Do you really think it is necessary? Your advice should suspect. Yes. Thank you, Sammy. Me cambiaron de Hola, Ignacio. Ahí. Okay, my friends, now we're going to be checking what we have. 
Uh, normally we say not, sorry, didn't want to write. Hmm? Okay, no. Not anything. Not anything. Or simply not any. They are accompanied. We never use no and not because that is double negative. So we say, for example, I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. Or I didn't hear anything. Or I didn't know. I didn't know anything, I didn't see anything, I didn't hear anything, I didn't know anything. Or you say, there isn't any, there isn't any time left. There isn't any time left. Or you can say, there is, no time left. There is no time left. There isn't any time left or there is no time left. Okay, you cannot say there isn't no time because isn't already has the negative form. There isn't any time. There is no time. I didn't see anything or I saw nothing. I saw nothing wrong. I saw nothing wrong with it. Or you can use a different verb like I found, I found nothing wrong with it. I found nothing wrong with it. I saw nothing wrong with it. So these are the correct forms. Now let's see. In the exercise. Two, two negatives in a sentence. For the moment, okay, I'm going to do this. Later, we will need to activate the microphone. Check over here. Two negatives in a sentence are considered ungrammatical in English. The recommendation is to avoid using them since the result is that a statement like, I don't know nothing, could be interpreted as I do know something. Okay, so, however, that is not really true. Actually, it is. it sounds like someone didn't go to school, right? When, when we reference W negative is nothing, any sure. in compendi not. Exactly. Don't public nothing. Nothing is negative. Nothing is negative. negative. So it's wrong. Instead of using nothing, we have to use anything. Okay. We don't publish anything unrelated to the benefits of our products. So didn't get no additional, mm -mm. didn't get any additional. The company didn't get any additional sales after the event, or the experts never said anything. If you use never, never is negative. So you have to use anything. The experts never said anything about the drastic change of image in our products. Never said anything. Didn't get any. Don't publish anything. So those would be some examples. Now we're going to correct this sentence to begin. I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. What do we say? I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. What's the correct form? I don't know anything, anything. about branding and, or marketing. marketing. In number two, I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake. The right form is, I never noticed anything about that spelling mistake. 
So let me see, because I still have the yellow, I'm going to use, I'm going to write here, anything. It is a grammatical question. It is rule, it's the rule, the grammatical. It's a rule in grammar, mm -hmm. it's a grammar rule. So I don't know anything, I never noticed anything. She never anything. mentioned anything. Mm -hmm. Anything positive. Anything is used, is accompanied, is accompanied with negative part. Every time that you use a negative part, you have to use anything. So I never, she never mentioned anything about that. She didn't do anything. Uh, so, so anything use, sentence positive. No, anything is anything. used when we use didn't, don't, okay, or negative. So okay. this is the correct form. I, he didn't do anything to fix the situation. They didn't do anything to deserve this teacher. What is deserve? Merecer. They didn't do anything to deserve this. So anything. Uh, sentence two is not negative. It's negative. It's never. Never means not ever, right? It includes a negative. Look. Not ever is never. It already never. Not, so it's never. never. She made sentence negative. Exactly. That's why you say I never noticed anything. Okay. She never said anything. Ever said anything. I did. Did. Uh, I didn't do anything. Okay. All all sentences is negative. Any anything. Sure. Yes. Yes. Most of them, or many of them. She didn't write anything. She didn't write anything. Anything is the same nothing. Anything is the same as nothing, but it's used in the negative, right? Not anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He doesn't cook anything for lunch. He doesn't cook anything for lunch. They said they never saw anything. They said they never saw anything strange. Over here we use anything, no nothing. They said they never saw anything strange. The anything. Now check over here. We're going to come back to this if we have time. I wanted to go over that one, but probably we will not have time. Okay, so we need to work on this and this in the group. So you have only 10 minutes, so I'm going to just say it like this. No is change. You change. You get no. You cross it out and you use any. And uh, nothing will be changed for anything. Nothing, you have to change it for anything. Okay, if you find sentences with never, for example, here, didn't never say nothing, eliminate. She didn't never, uh -uh. she never said anything changing jobs, right? So you're going to be correcting these sentences in your groups. Example, I don't have no time. Uh -uh. I don't have any time to discuss this any further, right? But I'm, going, I'm not, I won't take any more time for you to, so do, 24 and 25 in the groups. 24 and 25 in your groups. The ones that you can in the time that you have. Groups are beginning right now. So try to do, remember, no, any, nothing, anything. Basically.
here the exit sign. Um, read the double negative four in this temperature. They never sign. Um, they Not never sign about coming to my home tonight. Number one, never, never sign anything. Mm -hmm. No, because it's negative. No, it's negative. We never sign. They, they ain't say about coming to my home, house tonight. Yes, they never, they never said anything about coming to my house tonight. They never said anything. Never is like didn't. They didn't say anything about mm -hmm. coming to my house tonight. Would be the same. Okay, so. Number two. Uh, I don't I have don't... to. No. Yeah. Hmm. Or or not yeah. ever is the same. Never. Maybe the, the, the first one is. Maybe you can anything do only orally or only orally so that you may. Uh, mm -hmm. Teacher, the, the first one is anything. Exactly. They never but said anything about coming to my house tonight. Because is the the meaning of the sentence. Never is. Uh -huh. They are they are saying never is negative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. Uh -huh. Okay, in the in the cons in the contenido in the con, con the in the context of the, the of the sentence. sentence we have to use the word nothing or anything. Uh oh. Uh huh. For example, this they never say anything. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's like the second. I don't have yeah, no time. Orally, so that you can advance. Yeah, uh -huh. I don't have, I don't have, no time, no, no. I don't have anything. Is they never said anything about coming to my house tonight. Yes. The second? I they never say anything about coming to my, to house, my house tonight. tonight. Uh -huh. Anything. 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 And in second sentence, anything. I don't. No, is no, is any. Because if if you if you find the word no. You need to put any. You need to change to any. Mm, exactly. Exactly. Uh huh. So I don't have any time to discuss this no further. Further. Okay. Okay. When when Conte war no. Is any only? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. 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 I don't. Only this part, teacher. No, that was not. That wasn't <laughs> twenty four and twenty five. We practice more. <laughs> this is the one that I did. It's 24 and 25. 24 and 25. And what number is this? Uh, I don't remember, 16 probably. Or 17. Uh... Carlita is mm -hmm. is number twenty four in twenty five. 
scroll it up, per favore. It's good. It's um, 24 and 25. So all of these are correct, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi, hello teacher. Teacher. Hi. I, I not get it uh, in the, when you say, explain, uh, eliminate didn't, or no. Oh, when they when you have here never eliminate didn't or eliminate never. You say Bessie didn't say anything about any money. Or you can say Bessie never said anything about any money. So uh -huh. you, you don't put together. You use never or you use didn't, but you don't use them together. Ah, uh, okay. Never number six. And you put the past tense. Bessie never said anything about any money. No is changed for any. Uh, okay. Change for okay. Mm -hmm. okay, I get it, teacher. Thank you. If you have together, didn't and never eliminate one of them, you can eliminate didn't or you can eliminate never. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anything. Anything. Teacher. Uh, uh, teacher, I, 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 you, I we have a question. If you have nothing, you change it for anything. But if you have only no, you have to use any. Like, uh -huh, any. Uh -huh, okay. yeah. mm -hmm. I, don't okay. uh -huh. I don't have any time. Uh -huh. I don't have any money. Uh -huh. I don't have any, noth any nothing. Over here it says no nothing. Eliminate uh -huh. no, eliminate no because it's here didn't. And translate yeah. it to anything. They didn't find. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. They didn't find anything in there. Uh -huh. Yeah. They never didn't uh -huh. yeah. find no nothing. Three uh -huh. forms. No, eliminate uh -huh. no. Nothing. Nothing to anything. Anything. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, okay. That's, that's the way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Basically, didn't never say when nothing. Sentences is you have didn't okay. and never, didn't and never choose. Okay. Three. You can eliminate either or you can eliminate never. But because you have say in, a, in present, eliminate never. Basically, didn't say anything anything oh, okay. any money didn't oh, okay. say anything about any money or mm -hmm. Bessie never said anything about any money okay for example in number six Tony didn't come to any meeting this week exactly Tony that's right and I ain't got any time for choosing or fighting. This is what the Kitos say. I ain't got no time for fussing or fighting. So they say I ain't got no time means I don't have any time. A any time. Uh -huh. Any time for fussing or fighting, for causing problems or for fighting. I don't have it. Okay. What is the meaning of fussing? Causing problems. Problems. Causing, causing, causing problems. Causing problems. Causing. So you say it's, hey, what's the fuss? What's the problem? What's the fuss? Mm. Mm, new word for me. Mm -hmm. No fussing. Thank yes. you, teacher. Welcome. Stop fussing around, says, right? Stop. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they ain't say anything. They say nothing See, about anything. 
about any party. Yes. Uh -huh. They say anything about any party. Mm -hmm. They didn't say anything. They didn't say anything about any, any party. party. Okay. Anything about any party. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. They never asked. Teacher e A I is there. Ain't ain't is a negative form that black people use. Okay, so when you see ain't, stay away from ain't. But people say, come on, man, I ain't got no money, right? I ain't got no money. I ain't got no money is I don't have any money. I don't have any money. So it's like, I haven't got any money, but this is wrong. Of course it's wrong. So seven is, you, I don't have any time, or you can say, I haven't, I haven't got any time for causing problems or fighting, for fussing and fighting, for causing problems or fighting. Uh -huh. So you can say that. Ain't is, a negative form, but it's incorrect, okay? So negative and negative. I haven't got any time for fussing or fighting. I haven't said, they didn't say in that case or haven't said anything about any party. They never answered any questions about this. She didn't say anything about changing jobs. Or, okay, if you see didn't and never together, eliminate didn't or eliminate never. You cannot have the two. Unless In you the case number five, teacher, it's a lot of no, only two. Bessie no, two. didn't say, Bessie didn't say anything about any money. So, or you can say, um, he never said anything about any money. Other people transform never to ever, eliminating not. They didn't, Bessie didn't ever say anything about any money, but it's, I prefer to eliminate never altogether. So Bessie uh, didn't say anything about any money. That would be the, the suggestion. Okay, so we ain't got no opinion. If we don't have any opinion about anything you say. We don't have any opinion about anything you say. We keep quiet about it. All right, my friends. Let's, let's see. Maybe you can practice this in your house, writing them and putting them in the correct options, okay? So that like, they didn't have any over here, we have no and nothing. Eliminate no and transform nothing to anything. They didn't find anything in there. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's see who's, who's present. We finished. So, Patricia uh, Linares. Present, teacher. Excellent, nice. Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Okay. Chévez. Present teacher. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Excellent. Angelita. Present teacher. Darwin Edgardo Ayala. Good night. Good night. Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Here. Excellent. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Jose Carlos Argueta. Present teacher, I'm here. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta. Jose Carlos, I'm present teacher. I'm yes. here. Yes, I heard you, my friend. No problem. It's okay. <laughs> yes. Lourdes, I'm here, teacher. Mayra Melanie Guevara. Present teacher. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez. Present teacher. Excellent. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Excellent. Good. 
Uh, Osmin by Solórzano. Present teacher, good night. Very good, good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Rafael Ernesto González. Present, good night. Good night. Rosa Elena Salgado. Present teacher. Excellent. Sandra Gladys Méndez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Happy week. To you too, thanks. Yancy Lizbeth Hernández. Present. Nice. Eh, Zulma Rosaura López. Flor de María Carballo. Present, good night. Good night. Eh, René and uh, Marvin didn't come. Susana Carolina Hernández. Didn't come, right? So, okay. Eh, Dani didn't come. So, Dani Sadalberto Fuentes. Present. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. José Ignacio Franco Medina. En Carla Verónica Vázquez. Excellent. So, that's it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Let's close this. Okay. Ta -da. Thank you very much for attending tonight. Okay. Uh, I, I let you. I, <laughs> I let you go and do the homework, okay? Then go to bed because today is Friday and you need to complete that part, okay? On Monday, on Monday we have the Encuesta de Satisfacción. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you, too. my friends. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night teacher. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good night. You Bye. and. You and your cat, meow, meow, okay, so. <laughs> no, it's rabbit. <laughs> oh, it's a rabbit. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> rabbit, okay. What a cat, that's beautiful, okay. Thank you, teacher, good night. All right, have a nice weekend. Thank okay. you. Yes, Bye. You're Bye, good night, okay. Teacher, today is my session. Yes. Or no? Today you stay with me, my friend. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to. Okay. All right. Let's begin. Uh, hello. Good evening, Michelle. How are you doing? Oh. Uh, all these days are a little busy, but good. <laughs> How can I help you? Is there something that you don't understand? Something? Uh, that... Yes. Yes, it's uh, about the last topic of today. The topic of today. Okay, let's check it. Uh huh. Let's and check. And is about the exercise in the page number twenty-three. Page twenty-three. Yes. Okay. Let me see, I don't have the book here, but let me see, I, I will look. Okay. Okay, enough. Questions with sentences with enough and nouns. Uh... What? <laughs> that is page 23. Yes, 23. Yes. Uh, can I it's the, for the... Let me share it with you so you may see it. Uh -huh. This page. Yeah. Uh, no, the presentation. Ah, okay. Presentation. No, not of the book. Okay. Yes. Presentation. Yeah. So this one. Yes, the page number 23, Rocas. Yeah, this is page 23. Or uh, 24. This is page 24. This, yes. yes. Okay. I need to understand more about 
uh, when I when I use any and anything. You use not ever. Not so. Oops. 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 Okay. Mm, I'm going to erase this. Eliminate it. I hate it when this does this. Okay. So read okay. in letters as. But okay, not ever, not ever equals never. So you see that the negative is implicit. Negative is implicit in not ever, right? For never. So for this reason, you say not ever, that is not, that is never, you cannot use it with didn't, didn't, because didn't, what is didn't? Did not. Did not. Did not. Didn't. So mm -hmm. not appears there. And if you see, say, didn't, never, you are using not and not is double negative, right? So there oh. is, okay, it is double negative. So you have to use eliminate one not here, like didn't ever, or eliminate this and you say never. Mm -hmm. They never said anything about coming to my house tonight, okay? Or you say, I don't have any time to discuss this, any further means any more or any longer. So I don't need any money from you. They mm -hmm. don't find any, but over here is nothing. So eliminate no, because you have no and no, right? Eliminate no and use anything. They didn't find anything in there. Bessie eliminate here didn't. Bessie never said anything about any money, about any money because ne double negative, right? So any, not, I mean anything here. Bessie didn't say anything about any money. Okay, in number six, Tony didn't come to any meeting. Okay. And this one, I ain't got no time for fussing or fighting. You say, I haven't got, haven't would be like, you remember that have got, have got is the same as have, right? I don't have, I don't have any time for fussing or fighting. I don't have any time for causing problems or fighting. So I ain't got is wrong. I don't have or I haven't got. I haven't got any time for fussing or fighting. And in this one, the same, haven't. They haven't said anything about any party or they never answered any questions about this. She, she, again, eliminate never. She didn't say anything about changing jobs. Yes. Or uh, you say the same, we haven't got any opinion about anything you say. And she didn't uh. care about anything but herself. She didn't care about anything mm -hmm. but herself. Mm -hmm. Now, for you to practice, you can practice with this one. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah. Now I know why uh, why uh, never we. O sea, ahora entiendo por qué never se incluye para no para Negative. para especificar any. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Because ah, okay. not, not any, never, not ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I see that when you, when in the sentence we use no, we need to change with any because, because, because we use, acompañado. Uh -huh. because it's accompanied with, with not in the other one. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Pero también acabo, estoy viendo aquí según las, las, Las oraciones es de que any se coloca en lugar de no, 
pero siempre para ocupar any tiene que ir, o sea, va acompañado como para, como para especificar algo, como por ejemplo, tiempo, any time, any money, mm -hmm. any, any meeting. With a noun, with a noun, you use any. With a noun, ajá. Yes, we didn't find any evidence. We didn't mm -hmm. find any money, okay? So, uh -huh. no, nothing is three negatives. One, two, three, and obviously eliminate this negative. They didn't find anything in there. Mm -hmm. Because in this sentence, we don't have a, a noun. Exactly. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I let you go so that you may do your homework and... Uh, mm -hmm. I'll be seeing you on Monday then. Thank you for staying, okay? Thank you for taking the okay. time to stay. God bless you. Thank Have you a nice weekend. Sure. See you on Monday, okay? Take care. Okay, see you on Monday. Yes, see you on Monday. Good night. Uh, good night, bye. Bye, take care.